Noble. Hi there, thanks for joining us everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Tonight we have been celebrating Mae West and we've got two more Mae West classics yet to go before we say goodnight. Coming up from 1940, West stars alongside none other than W.C. Fields in a Western comedy from Universal, My Little Chickadee. This pairing was a big deal at the time, putting Mae West and W.C. Fields in a movie together. And they were each given plenty of opportunities to do what they did best. For West, that meant playing a woman who likes men, likes them a lot. And we know she likes men because she tells us with her bountiful sexual double entendres, which were Mae West's trademark. And W.C. Fields, he was the master of the comic con, a bumbling swindler, a hard-drinking egotist. And behind the scenes, egos were front and center. Both stars were accustomed to being the star. Neither felt particularly generous about sharing the spotlight. West and Fields locked horns even before shooting began, going back and forth on the script. West was under the impression she would be the writer. That was part of her deal. But somehow, W.C. Fields got the same deal in his contract, that he would write the script. In the end, both West and Fields received a writing credit, with Fields writing his lines and West writing hers and most of the other dialogue. Not surprisingly, there are enough smart one-liners to go around. From 1940, and featuring Dick Ferran and Margaret Hamilton, who had just recently completed what is now her most famous role as the Wicked Witch in The Wizard of Oz. Here's my little chickadee. 